Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here, and we're going to do a profile, a webcomic factory profile, right, Little Joan, on uh, In a Relationship. It's one of the comic strips we have on the site. There's Little Joan's face. Hello, Little Joan. And uh, it's uh, one of our longest running comics uh, since 2010. Um, this is today's current strip. It's about being sick with your uh, SO. Um, in the first panel, the woman says, oh my God, I feel awful. And the guy says, babe, you should not have gone to work. And she snuggles up to him and says, oh, I just need to snuggle. Make me feel better. What? Uh, no, but I need to. And one week later, he's sick and it says, oh my God, I feel awful. Make me some soup. And she says, geez, why are men such crybabies when they're sick? Um, and uh, that's what it's about. It's about uh, the dynamic between men and women uh, in a relation or any relationship, really, we usually stretch the term pretty far in the comic and, uh, sometimes criticize men and sometimes women. And when I criticize, uh, men, I am cheered. And when I criticize women, I am called an incel. So, <laughs> uh, I, uh, came up with the comic with Christian Baranak, who, uh, wrote many of the strips as well, especially early on. And we co-wrote a few. Um, the first strip uh, appeared in 2010, I believe, yes, in April, uh, after that first initial week. We, we didn't start posting every single day right away. Like that first week, it was like three, and then the second week, I think we got them uh, fairly steady after that. But uh, the first uh, few strips, uh, eight strips, were drawn by Justin Stewart, and... Um, this one was about dating. You can see the style he has. Um, and uh, then Justin moved on and uh, MC uh, started in 2011. And uh, MC's uh, uh, from Argentina, so English is a second language. So the first few strips had no dialogue. And uh, we kind of went back and forth a little bit until all the concepts were clear. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, he's, uh, been pretty good ever since he, he, he really likes draw drawing beautiful women. This was the first strip he drew. And, uh, then later, uh, we did a storyline. Now this, this is mostly a conceptual comic, but we eventually, uh, this was 2012. I decided to do a storyline of a man and woman who are dating, uh, Donnie and Sonny and how they meet and go on the first date and fall in love and uh, they have a relationship and we didn't go too far with it. It, it, it ran for about uh, 10 or 12 weeks just to change things up. Th that was the only narrative really in the story uh, from strip to strip. The rest of them, we have running characters in it. We have um, uh, Rachel and let's see, let's uh, we'll go to the character bio index here on the webcomic factory. Yeah, it's the only one I put up. Uh, Bonnie and Rachel are two roommates and we followed their um, various loves throughout the comic. Every once in a while we come back to them. And uh, at some point I added, when was it? Yeah, the first Bonnie and Rachel appearance was in 2011. Um, then shortly after the 100th in a relationship strip, we introduced Rex and Lena, uh, who uh, are African American couple. Uh, this was the this was the the farting on a date strip, uh, and how everybody everybody uh, hides their farts. But then uh, they came back, Rex and Lena, in more traditional strips just about living together and uh, um, Lena's hair changed. Sam and Lita are another couple who have been in the strip a bunch of times. Um, then this was the 100th strip. And to celebrate that, we brought back um, MC Drew, the characters from, uh, where is it? I'm going to find it now. The guys from the first strip. See, these are the guys of the first strip. They've, he's got like a beard and the guy with black hair. And then uh, MC sort of redrew them. And uh, so it was the uh, same sort of setup. Like they're looking over uh, dating apps and, you know, being bros. Um, 
And then this was the end of uh, towards the end of the uh, Sonny and Donnie strip. In oh no, this was probably a repeat. You know, sometimes uh, because it's in a relationship, ooh, it's a very sexy, sexy frame. Uh, because in a relationship, there's a lot of people just sitting around talking or lying in bed. Um, it's very easy to reuse. This was probably a reuse of some of the artwork from that, but it was probably a one-off. Kind of check it in with uh, Sonny and Donnie. Uh, this is Peter and Gary, uh, two buddies who talk about their relationships. I've used this strip a bunch of times. This is them at a bar, thus the purple lighting. And um, so we've had this strip a bunch of times. They've been in a few different bar settings. Oh, this is Rex and Lena, more updated Rex and Lena. From uh, 2016, this is. It's is like 10 years worth of uh, uh, a relationship comics. It's about them buying a dog. Um, with some of this was based on uh, uh, my brother, who uh, didn't want to get a dog, but his uh, current, uh, uh, his new wife uh, definitely wanted one. So there was some fun, fun there. Um, this is a couple living together or married. I'm not sure if they're married. Not, not a, a regular, although they've appeared a couple of times. Patrick, and I forget the woman's name, but it's all about uh, doing the household chores. And, uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> this is me using the same strip again uh, exactly one year later in uh, April. And uh, let's, let's go to another one. I don't do it that often, and I separate. The, oh, this is Sam and Lita. So they, they appear semi-regularly. They also were in the Christmas strip about visiting. Uh, they're married. So uh, the Christmas strip was about, you know, visiting your in-laws. And uh, what a what a nightmare that can be. And this is uh, Sam and Lita. Lita is all about, uh, you know, sort of appearances, uh, which is a common theme in relationships. So women tend to be more about appearances. And she wants to be... Um, wants to be wants to outshine her friend at a wedding, but it sounds like she just wants to be mean to her, and Sam doesn't understand why they're friends. Uh, this is 2019 uh, dating profiles, uh, meeting up with your Tinder match, only to find out they used very old pictures of themselves and are actually a lot older in person. And for the women, that doesn't work out too well. Uh, but for the men, sometimes it does if you have money. <laughs> and uh, this was a recent thing on Tinder bios as well. Um, I don't do a tremendous amount of Tinder material. It just sort of came up on the, the links. There's just so many. You have to understand there's so many of these strips. Look at them all. 439. And see, I had to group them. I only grouped them by the time and not, uh, you know. The, the material wise, it's kind of harder to pinpoint. So, but, um, you know, if you like stuff about, you know, if you're in a relationship, I think you can relate to it. Usually people are in a relationship at some point in their lives. So I think it's a fairly universal concept. I mean, you know, I, I, I've got angered people with the strip on occasion. Uh, like I said, the women do not take criticism well, especially on Imgur. And uh, even sometimes on Reddit. But, you know, look, everybody's an a-hole in a relationship to one degree or another. They, they, you know, people are sloppy and they're selfish sometimes or they're just annoyed. And, you know, and you got to kind of put up with your S.O.'s S if, uh, uh, if you get my drift. And, um, you know, and not it's not all good. It's not all sunshine and roses. And sometimes it's. You know, it's just funny. It's just funny the way people are weird. Um, I don't do a tremendous amount of, uh, of uh, gay couples, but, uh, you know, a few of them have been in there over the years. Not a lot. You know, I don't write a lot of that stuff. It's not my, not really my wheelhouse. It's not that I'm against it or anything. Uh, Christian's written a, a couple of them, a couple of trans ones, and um, but not a lot. I did a short bit on polyamory which I find mildly fascinating um, and uh, my opinion on that so uh, you know it gets into some stuff but uh, it's also just a fun comic 
You know, we have the cling guy. I think his name's Randy. And Randy keeps hooking up with these women and just suffocating them with his love. We have Jonah, and I forget the man's name, but she is just too dumb to break up with him kind of thing where like he's not obnoxious he kind of just wants to break up with her and she never quite gets the message and they always just end up getting back together and having sex or whatever um but there's all kinds of different and uh, you know there's some conniving people and some nice people so you get a nice mix and really you know we're talking almost 500 strips here almost 10 years worth of stuff so there's a lot to read there here at the Web Comic Factory, and I have to thank, of course, my partner, uh, Christian Baranek, for helping me come up with the concept. And uh, definitely, uh, she came up with the name, and uh, she's contributed a great deal. Um, and also, I have to thank, of course, uh, Justin Stewart, who started out, but MC Carper, who's just been a workhorse through this entire run. Uh, you know, there's just no one else. I'd rather do this strip with, and uh, he just he just cranks him out, just cranks out the work. So thank you all uh, for making Interrelationship a success, and check it out here on the Webcomic Factory.